This is a quick video on diagonal matrices, a special matrix class that is important in machine learning. A diagonal matrix is one that has non-zero elements along the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So the identity matrix, which we already saw in an earlier video in the Machine Learning Foundation series, is an example of a diagonal matrix. So here's the I4 identity matrix. The distinction is that an identity matrix is a special type of diagonal matrix. So while identity matrices are diagonal matrices, you could have other diagonal matrices where instead of just ones, you could have other values along the main diagonal. If the diagonal matrix is square, we can denote it as diag open bracket, then a vector, say this vector x, and close bracket, where that vector x is a vector of the main diagonal elements. Since we know that everything else is going to be zeros, we can represent the entire diagonal matrix with a single vector of the elements along the main diagonal. Working with diagonal matrices is computationally efficient. For multiplication, if you want to multiply some diagonal matrix X times some vector Y, well, this is computationally exactly the same as performing the dot product or Hadamard product between a vector X and the vector Y. Inversion is also computationally efficient. To invert a diagonal matrix, we simply take all of the elements along the main diagonal and invert them individually. So x1 becomes one divided by x1 all the way through to xn becoming one divided by xn. And then we transpose it. One critical item to note here is that then you can't divide by zero so if the vector x, so that if anything along the main diagonal includes a zero, then that diagonal matrix cannot be inverted. Even if diagonal matrices are non-square, so typically in machine learning, you're going to, to see square diagonal matrices, though not always. And even if they're not square, computation can still be efficient. So you have these same kinds of rules of thumb as before, but on top of that, if the height of the matrix is greater than the width of the matrix, then you can simply add zeros onto the product, onto the result. Or if the width is greater than the height, then you can remove elements from the product. Got it? All right, that's it on diagonal matrices. So up next is the final topic of intro to linear algebra. It's on another special category of matrices, orthogonal ones.